Hey there everyone, it's Darby Riverbend Survival again. Today we're going to talk about my new bag and the kit that I use for all my bushcrafting adventures now. If y'all remember from my previous videos, or if you haven't seen those, go back and take a look at them. You'll see that my favorite rucksack or bag forever and ever was the Italian Mountain Rucksack. Love that bag, still have it. A couple of problems with it was it has to be highly modified to fit somebody of my size. Uh, number two, which I'd done, so it worked fine. Number two is it lent itself to carry a lot of stuff in it. Good on some cases, bad on others. These last couple of years that I took off from making videos, my kit changed a lot in that time period because um, what I was doing was different. Uh, what I wanted and what I needed was different. So, we'll start with the, with the very obvious. My wife told me to pick out whatever bag I wanted. I was looking at bags, still trying bags, the same trap I was in before. I was still trying different bags and buying different bags, but I was always trying to find something on the cheap for a better term, lack of a better term. I was always trying to find something that was inexpensive that was great. Uh, what I discovered was there's a lot of inexpensive things that are good, but none of them were exactly what I wanted. So she told me to order whatever bag I wanted and she was going to get it for me for a present. <clears throat> what I got was, and what you'll see on this video series, uh, I'm going to say exclusively, is I got a Frost River um, North Bay is what this bag is called. Uh, what a crazy good bag. Uh, I could have had any of them. I researched them all. I looked at different ones. This is the one I got and I'll explain why as soon as I change the camera and show first you what's things in first. It. Let's go over this just a little bit about the the bag and, and what it consists of. Like I said at the opening there, it's the uh, North Bay made by Frost River. Um, I haven't had it that terribly long but this thing is, you're going to talk about overbuilt. I mean, everything on it. The heavy-duty waterproof canvas, the leather. It's not even accents. It's part of the structure of the, of the bag. Double, triple stitching. Uh, more stitching than any bag I've ever had. Heavy-duty straps that I'll get to in a second. Big, bulky uh, zippers. Uh, I did not want any Velcro. Um, so let's get to why I like this bag or why I went with this bag. It's got three compartments in it. It has a compartment right here. Oh, let's start with this. Every zipper has one of these rain flies over the top that you can just roll out of the way. And I'll tilt it forward. Look at the size of this zipper. It's just monstrous. I messed up my tablecloth here. <laughs> So, it has three compartments in it. It has one right here that is just super easy to get to. Uh, matter of fact, we'll just do the contents of this one while I have it open. In here is my little first aid kit. It's a pre-packaged thing that I've added some stuff to. It's in a waterproof bag. I have a pair of leather gloves in here. And I have my uh, UCO uh, lantern candle. It's right here. And it is you would think that it's like an envelope pocket, but it's not. It's, it's, it's not super, super thick. Let me see if I can show you what I'm looking at here. But it runs back here, and then it runs up to this pocket. So, you know, it's about yay wide, and it's from here all the way down. So, you know, it's got some pretty good size to it. I don't really carry a ton in it. Uh, I have a bandana in it. I have one of my kits in it. I have my stocking cap. And that's all that's in it. And this kit here, it's kind of like, um, we're going to call it kind of like a catch-all kit. It's one of the changes that I have in my bag. Let me see if I can get this set where y'all can see it. I have this kit. I have a spare pair of reading glasses, a lighter, um, a carving knife, a titanium spoon, a sharpening stone, a uh, uh, ferrocerum rod, salt, pepper, water purification tablets. In here is my crap like sugar and creamer and stuff for coffee. And on the other side I have, over here I have coffee filters uh, for straining water and for making coffee when I take my coffee equipment with me. 
So like I said, it's just kind of a catch-all bag. Anything that I don't want laying around loose in the bag goes in here. The last pocket it has is this big dump pocket up here. I love this pocket. It's got three, it's got three different ways, three different compartments in it to store stuff. It opens up huge. I can lay it all the way out if I want to. But up here, it's got a zipper compartment that hangs in there. It's got this compartment, and then it's got this compartment back here. It's divided off, and it's got pockets in it. We'll go over this pocket here first. I have bug spray. This is this is stuff that I just use a lot. Uh, my compass, my headlamp is in this bag. I think that's it. Oh, and my emergency signaling device that y'all have seen. I've been using these for years and years. Uh, they're made for hikers or bicyclists when they're walking at night on city streets. Uh, they weigh nothing. They're super small and if you're in an emergency situation and need to be rescued, you can just hang this up in a tree, hit it, and people are going to see it for, for miles at night. The next section of this bag, or, or this pocket in this bag, I have another catch-all bag. And I do not know where this bag came from. It's been in my videos before. I've had it for many, many years. I think it was supposed to be like a uh, like a shave kit, you know, like when you're traveling or whatever. I don't know where it came from. This bag is another catch-all, but it's just a little bit different than the first one. I have my roll of Gorilla Tape, the small roll. I have my bank line. I have my sewing kit, my USGI sewing kit. And then everything else in here is just string, uh, paracord, uh, quick quick zip clips, some of the bungee cords I use all the time. It's just mostly shelter making stuff really. Or project stuff, that kind of thing. I just keep it all in this bag because it's, it's nice and neat and it just sits in there and it doesn't get in the way. The next thing is going to be I, I don't know. The, the, the next thing is going to be <clears throat> my cook kit. Now, this is from, um, who were they called? The Canteen Shop. This one is actually labeled with Dave Canterbury School, the Path, Pathfinder, I think is what it's called. Uh, I have nothing against Dave. I like Dave. I like, his, I like everything he does, but I did not buy it because it was had his logo on it. Um, I bought it because it was on eBay and I think I talked about it in a video a couple of years ago um, I got the whole set all three pieces the stove the cup and the wide mouth canteen it's still in a package and I want to say it was like twenty dollars including shipping that's why I bought it a stainless steel canteen stainless steel canteen cup and a stainless steel stove oh, and the, the lids right here and the stainless steel lid to go on it, yeah, for 20 bucks, I'll take that deal. Uh, to be honest with you, up until a couple of months ago, I never really used it. Y'all have seen what I used before. You can go back and look at the videos. Um, but I got it out. We had a bunch of kids up here, and we were teaching them stuff, and one of the things they were doing was cooking over an open fire. And I just ran out of different things for them to cook in. So I went and grabbed this and I was using it. And I was like, man, I ought to be using this thing. So as you can see, it's 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 getting used now. It's getting my my wife just washed it last night. Uh, that's why it looks as clean as it does. But you can see it's starting to to blacken up and do its thing there. Uh, great kit. Great kit. Uh, there's a hundred videos out there online about it, so I don't need to, to tell everybody. You can go look up the canteen shops stainless steel cook kit or you can go on Dave's channel and look. So that's in that big pocket. My uh, little trowel for digging and for going to the bathroom is in here. I still use the Baco Laplander. Um, I have a Silky. I have some other ones. I, I don't know what the deal is. I, I just I just prefer the Baco. Uh, so you're going to use what you like to use. You're going to go back to what you like to use. So I just stayed with the Baco all these years. And I carry, it's kind of a, an extra item, 
and they're not the lightest thing in the world if you're worried about weight. But um, I carry a multi-tool, mostly for the pliers. Now, the last section of this compartment is his back pocket back here. In here, I carry the same kind of ground cloths I've always carried. You can see it's getting old and stained up now. Uh, but it has the, the blue mat on one side and the, like a rubbery mat. And on the other side is the reflective material. They're the reusable space blankets. I love, 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 love these things. Uh, so I still use these. I have my little grill. Same grill that y'all used to see before in the same bag, which is an old tripod bag. And that's just to keep my bag clean. But it's the same same grill I've been using since I The last thing in this videos. pocket is the one thing that people will be like, ooh, that's mighty big. But it's not heavy. It is kind of bulky for the inside of a bag. But when we get into the videos about it, um, you'll see... You've seen it before. If you see the mountain bike, mountain bike camping trip with Kenneth Cram, either on his channel or mine, uh, this is the tarp I had then. Uh, this is the Kelty Noah's tarp number. Uh, I think it's a nine-foot Noah's tarp. Uh, love, 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 love this tarp. Uh, and I, I also like the fact that it does store inside my pack. I don't have to worry about it getting torn up, or beat up, or ripped up on thorns and stuff like that. Um, besides this, the only thing I carry is the stuff that I carry on me, and I'll show you that. One now. thing that also goes in this kit that I forgot about because I was actually messing with it this morning is my flint and steel kit. Uh, it also has the uh, container with the Vaseline cotton balls in it. Uh, I'll go over that on a separate video. These are the same two items I have carried since day one on my belt. Different knife, of course. If you go back and watch the video, um, my last knife, I am still using that knife. I love it, love it, love it. You can see it's, it's worse for wear now, but it's holding up fine. The sheath that I made is finally starting to wear in and get softer and get a, a patina to it. Uh, I use it so much I had to replace this piece, the snap. Uh, it's got the fire steel on it, and you can see I don't use that one that much. This is the same pouch that I wore on my belt through all those other videos. It's got a fire steel in it, and it's got my um, tobacco tin in it. Uh, those will be covered in separate videos when I'm doing fire kits and fire setup. Other than what you see right here, there's nothing else I carry with me. If I go, if I go up north and it's going to be cold, I can strap a wool blanket to the bottom of this, or I can slap a sleeping bag to the bottom of it. That's the only thing that goes into it or comes out is a blanket sometimes. Until next time, get out in the dirt and have some fun.